front and rear legroom are above average in the Nero, and we found the rear seats to be spacious enough even for long-legged adults. The rear seats themselves left something to be desired, we found the seat bottoms unusually short, which could impact passenger comfort on a long trip. The base Fay model features a fuss-free interior, heavy on plastic and cloth. Partial leather seat trim is standard starting in X models, and the standard 7.0-inch infotainment touchscreen means that Nero owners will at least have access to the latest in connectivity. Also standard across the lineup is two-zone automatic climate control, with controls for the driver and front passenger. There is even a button to turn the passenger's climate control off if that seat is empty, which could save energy in hot summer months when hybrids traditionally forfeit efficiency due to the increased load from the air conditioner. Modern cabins do an excellent job of insulating passengers from ambient noise, but none can completely eliminate the sharp sound of the wind and the drone of tire noise when you're traveling at highway speed. To measure the interior sound pressure level, we use a Brule Anger Type 2250 liter sound meter, which we position in the middle of the first row of seats at the height of the driver's ear. The meter automatically averages 15 seconds of sound in a way to decibels, a bet taken while the test car is cruising at 70 miles per hour. A weighting is an industry standard that adjusts decibel readings to better reflect how the human ear hears various frequencies. We take two measurements and average 